Hey, what's up guys? Philip here bringing you another review. Today we're gonna be checking out Logitech's latest and greatest keyboard, the Logitech MX Keys. So Logitech's been pushing a lot of cool peripherals out lately. And one of them, of course, is this MX Keys keyboard. And along with this keyboard, they also released the Logitech's MX Master 3. If you haven't seen that mouse yet, I have a link down in the description below. Be sure to check it out. All right, so on with this keyboard review. So when I received this keyboard, here's what was included inside. The keyboard, of course a USB dongle, which lets you connect the keyboard via USB, a USB to USB-C charging cable, and of course, an instruction manual. Starting with the build quality of this keyboard, Logitech really outdid themselves this time with this MX keyboard. So this is their first MX key series keyboard, but compared to their other keyboards that they sell, this one is in a whole different tier. This is a very high quality looking keyboard with a nice durable metal build. The design of this keyboard is stunning. When you look at this keyboard, it's just eye candy. The keyboard is compatible with Mac, Windows, and Linux. So no matter what device you're on, Logitech's got you covered. And that's something I really love about Logitech. Most of their products are actually compatible with most devices. A lot of peripherals out there, they're only compatible with certain softwares, like maybe Apple only or Windows only, but Logitech, they're always open to any software. If you got a computer, most likely any Logitech device will be able to connect to it. If we look at the size of this keyboard, we can tell it is a full-size keyboard, which means that you have the arrow keys on the side here, as well as the number pad. It's not exactly great for portability if you're on the go all the time, but if you have a stationary setup, say at home or maybe your office, then this keyboard is gonna fit really nicely and cozy in your setup. If we take a look at the back of the keyboard, we can see that there are rubber grips on the back, which help really grip the keyboard to the desk. It's almost like gluing it. These grips are really grippy and you really shouldn't have any issues with the keyboard sliding around as you're actually using the keyboard. Unfortunately, there are no adjustable legs on the back of this keyboard, so you're gonna have to use the keyboard as is. It's propped up about half an inch, which I personally found fairly comfortable in most situations that I was using the keyboard. Now, if we switch to the top side of the keyboard, we can see that there's an on and off switch. It's pretty self-explanatory. And right next to it, we have a USB-C to USB charging port. The battery life on this keyboard will last for up to 10 days with the lights on. And with the lights off, the keyboard will last for up to five months. So depending on your usage and your environment, you may or may not want to turn off the lights. In my case, I'm usually at my office setup here and I prefer to have the lights on most of the time because it looks pretty cool. And speaking of the light up keys, these things have some pretty cool features. The first thing you're able to do with the keys is you're able to adjust the brightness from a low, mid and high. And there's a few options in between. I think you have six total brightness levels. And then you're also able to have a detection setting, which basically if your hands get close to the keyboard, it's gonna light up. And then when you take your hands off the keyboard, the keyboard dims out. The keys themselves are actually pretty different from most keyboards out there. These keys here have a very soft, smooth touch to them. It's a very light, lightweight sandpaper feeling. Unlike most keyboards, they have this like really hard plastic feeling. There's something that's really pleasant about touching these keys and actually holding them. And I just really enjoy having the tip of my fingers on these keys here. So when typing on this keyboard, the click depth from the top of the key to the bottom of the keyboard is only 20 millimeters, which is really short compared compared to most keyboards out there. The benefit of having a short click distance on the keys here is that your fingers won't get strained over time as you're using the keyboard. All right, now we're gonna do a sound test on the keyboard to let you guys hear what this keyboard actually sounds like. So I'm gonna get it about three inches away from the shotgun mic at the top here, and here's what it sounds like. Pretty quiet and smooth, I would say. Now let's actually talk about some of the functionality with this keyboard. So some of the unique things about this keyboard is it has these extra buttons here. So this button here is a calculator button, which of course lets you open your calculator. This here is a screenshot button. So when you press this, it can take a screenshot of your whole entire screen or you can click it and you can make it to where you drag where you want to screenshot something. 
And after you take that screenshot, you can just paste it wherever you want, maybe in a chat somewhere or your text editor or your design file. As a designer and a web developer, I find the screenshot tool very handy in my workflow. And the last key on the top right of the keyboard, we have a logout button. So if you go away from your keyboard, you push this button and it logs you out of your computer. I find this really useful if you work in an office environment and you know, you need to leave your computer really quickly. You don't want anyone accessing any of your files or if you're at home, you don't want any family members or roommates going on your computer. So it's pretty nice to have a quick little button at the top right here. And another set of buttons that Logitech included with this keyboard are the device switching buttons. So with this set of buttons, you can have multiple devices connected. So you can have your computer connected, your second computer, your phone, your tablet, Basically three devices can get connected to this keyboard. And this is great if you're constantly switching between devices and you don't wanna actually move yourself to a different device to type on it. So to actually connect this keyboard to a device, you have a few methods on doing that. You can either use Bluetooth, the USB dongle that the keyboard came with, or the USB-C cable. The cool thing about the USB-C cable is that you're able to charge while actually using the keyboard so battery life won't really be an issue. So overall, I would say Logitech did a really great job with this keyboard. The design is stellar, looks beautiful. It's gonna look really awesome on your home setup or office setup, wherever it is that you are. And the build quality is nice, durable, and premium. And of course, with a premium product like this is also gonna come a premium price tag. This keyboard does go for about $100 so if you're someone who can fork out a little bit of extra money to get that nice stuff, then I would say go for it. But if you're kind of tight on cash and you're looking for something a little more budget, I can't say I could recommend this thing because there's nothing like mind blowing revolutionary about this keyboard. It's just for people who are looking to up their setup and just have a really premium setup. However, if you're looking for something a little bit more budget than this keyboard, I'll leave a link down in the description to a keyboard I reviewed a while ago called the Logitech K780. It pretty much has a lot of similar features to this, except the build quality is a little lower, but the functionality is still just as good. If you're interested in picking up this fantastic, beautiful keyboard by Logitech, then I'll leave a link to that down in the description below. If you guys wanna see more reviews and tech videos like this in the future, I review a lot of Logitech stuff, other big brand product stuff. So if you guys wanna stay in tune with that, be sure to click that subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video and leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching.